I made payments since last week, yeah. Wait, Junior didn't turn in his PTA fees. He what? Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Grace. Thank you. Junior, what did you do with the PTA fees I gave you? What happened here? Eh? What? What happened here? Nothing, Mom. What's the smell? Mom, there's nothing. Junior, you, you started smoking. <coughs> you are smoking under my nose. You, you know what has come over you? What is wrong with you? Eh? I'm sorry, it was a mistake. You are sorry. Junior, do you know how bad smoking is for you? Do you want to kill yourself? Junior, you are just 17 years old. What are you doing smoking? What did you do with the PTA fees I gave you to pay? I gave you that money last week. What did you do with it? I used it. You did what? Mom, I need a new pair of shoes. So oh. I used to get one for myself. You needed a new pair of shoes. You are a grown man. You can go out there and buy things for yourself, right, Junior? Look here. Grown men buy things with the money they earned. With their hard-earned money, money they got through their sweats. Not using the money I gave you to pay for something in school. What is wrong with you, Junior? Oh, eh? Why are you shouting now, eh? Why are you shouting? It's your money. Is it? I, I, what, what? Junior! Junior, you want to beat me? Junior, you want to... My darling's calling me. I wonder what's happening. Hey, sweetheart. Baby, your son almost beat me up a few seconds ago. Am I hearing you right? Baby, Junior is taking advantage of your absence in this house. I don't know what he's turning into. I don't know what he's turning into, baby. Can you just come home, please? Look, calm down and tell me exactly what happened. His teacher called me saying that he had not turned in his PTA fees, which I had given to him since last week. She said he had not made payments and I was shocked. Okay. So I now said, okay, let me go to Junior and find out why he had not paid that, that, that fee, what he had done with the money. And baby, you can't imagine what I saw, baby. What? What did you see? Do you know his room was filled with smoke? He, everywhere was smelling of cigarettes. His body was oozing of cigarette smoke. No, that's unbelievable. That, that, that's not possible. That's not my son. Baby, baby, please, can you just come back? Please, come back. I can't do this on my own. Please. Darling, just calm down. Give me a sec. I need to talk to the young man, okay? I'll call you back. Please talk to him. Mother. Mother, I've been no verse, eh? Mother, no verse. I just said, I bring this for me, take you your temper. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just a pity you, not cry you. Chai. Junior, how are you? I'm, I'm fine, Daddy. What's going on with you? Nothing, sir. So, is there anything that you need that I don't provide for you? No, sir. 
So what did you do with the PTA money? And why did you decide to join bad friends smoking around? I'm, you, I'm, I'm very sorry, it was a mistake. No, that doesn't answer my question. I used the PTA money to get myself a new pair of shoes. Because I know that if I had asked mom, she wouldn't let me use it. Shoes? Are you walking barefooted? Don't you have lots of shoes in the house? No, dad. What, what's going on with you? You even attempted to fight my wife? You disrespect my wife? Are you insane? Have you gone mad? Of course, the, the cigarette you're smoking now is, is, is turning your head. Oh, so you want to throw punches, right? No, 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 daddy, no. I, I, I don't identify mommy, you. That's not true. Oh, really? Don't worry. Punch you, you will fight because I will punch some senses into your head. Dad, please. I'm not not and I didn't identify mommy. She was just screaming at me and I didn't like what she was shouting, so I so I walked out to her. That's still disrespectful. That's disrespectful. And you cannot disrespect your mother because I'm not there. Huh? You start to misbehave because I'm not around? I'm sorry, sir. And those friends. Those bad friends that have started to teach you how to smoke. The next thing you start to smoke weed. When I come, you will take me to them and take me to the parents. I want to speak with the parents. Then they don't have friends. Then who taught you how to smoke? From television. A movie? Yes, that I made it from television and I'm very sorry. I just wanted to test this. It will happen again, I promise. Look, don't you ever put cigarette in your mouth to smoke again. I don't want to ever see that around you. That's so not you. That's so not my son. Permit, sir. Go to your mother and apologize to her. Permit, sir. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Madam. Hey. Madam. Hey. Madam, just give me small shots. Hey, give me small shots. May I help you amend this boy? This is your boy, Junior. You see that boy? Where they do I like chicken way be say rain beats. But that's it, they say so. Now spoil it, don't they spoil it, they go. Now so then they start to. Oh, madam, you too, you too soft for this matter. Ah, you too soft like uh, soft bread. You too soft. You see, Junior, small chicken if you they like this. Yeah, wait they like this. You don't day for it, but you don't lose her. You see what that boy need now, eh? Now better, correct? Factory fitted. Mending of brain, I don't reset that in brain for him. Ah, the slap where we say, if you land that for here like this, ha, that they call better. How to reset it. But that last last, you go use bandage, bandage your head. That be the thing. Sorry. sorry for what exactly? Junior, sorry for what exactly? Eh? Is it the smoking at a tender age under my roof? Or spending money you were supposed to use in school for something? Or is it the fact that you have no respect for me, your mother, Emanuela? So what, please, are you sorry about? I'm sorry for everything, mom. It will happen again. You're sorry for everything. It will happen again. Please, Junior, tell me. You are 17 years old. How far do you think you will go in life if you start this way? I'm sorry, Mom. Stop telling me sorry! Ever since your father traveled to Abuja, it's been one, one useless habit to the other. Junior, what is, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is your plan? Tell me, what is your plan? I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm just being myself. God forbid. God forbid, Junior. No child of mine can be like this. Not a child I carried in my womb, God forbid! So wherever you got these habits from, just pack it and throw it away because I don't, I don't know who you are. Please! I'm trying to be yourself. <laughs> you are joking. God, how do I handle this? My wife is burdened with the parenting responsibility that I should be sharing with her. I should be a full part of. I can't imagine the stress she's going through. Emma, I'm so sorry. This is not what I promised you. But I will end this as soon as I can. 
and gave us what we used to have. How's my coin doing? Good, 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 good. Good. Come sit, come sit. How are the kids? They are good. They're doing well. Where are they? They're in their room. All right. Mm -hmm. Come in. How have you been? I missed you. I missed you too. I mean, I missed you so much. I know. <laughs> and it made me to realize how much I love you. I love you too. And Baby, now, come sit. What? Okay, yeah, because I, I have something. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I needed you too. Ah. Ah. Sit down. Yeah. Babe, uh, something came up at the office and uh, it's a decision I have to make and I thought I, I, I discuss it with you first before I can um, make the, the decision, you know? Okay, I'm in suspense. So what's happening? What's up? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's good. Or is bad, but uh, is there a problem? Should... Look, I actually got a promotion that comes with a transfer. Oh my god! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. you got a promotion. Oh my yeah, god! Thank you, darling. Congratulations! Uh, yeah, but all thanks to you. I mean, you. To me. uh, you know, because I've, I've had uh, a virtuous woman. Uh, Understanding, loving, the sweetest, the best mother thank ever you. by my side. Thank, thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank, thank, you. thank you. No, no, I'm happy, you know. Um, Wait, I haven't so worried you, about it. Did you say the promotion came with the transfer? Yes. Uh, it, it, yes. Um, the transfer. I mean, I haven't that they get well, what they're saying is that um, they have already promoted somebody to my position. So it's up to me to uh, go to Abuja or not. I know, but somebody just writes to and tell them they want to, you know, take some time to decide if you want to go or okay. not. I, I can do that, but I'm sure I was going to kiss the present position. So far away, they don't think about it. I still don't think about it. Since you told me about this, since I got the email, I've been thinking, spending the whole time in the office thinking about this. I don't okay, know. okay. Why don't you tell them to transfer you to um, a nearby state? You know, so we can always visit you there to you know. We... Maybe I've already told you about that. I've thought about it if it was possible. I won't even. I'll be telling them about that new option. I don't know what else to do. I know it's hard on you too, but I know in a short while the schools are closed and uh, maybe we try to fix it or something in Abuja. We'll probably just move over to Abuja. But I just don't want to lose the opportunity. You know how many years I've spent working to get this, this particular uh, uh, managing position. Then now I'm thinking about you know moving up to MD4 for, for, for the company. I just I just want us to grow this bucket growth and sometimes there are sacrifices that come with growth. I mean I don't want it. I don't want to leave you, I don't want to leave the kids, you know how much I miss my children. But we just have to take this step. Yeah. 
How did it go? It's that deep. Moment, I want to talk to you guys about something. Um, your dad has got a new promotion. I just said this. I said what? Mommy only cook this meal on special occasions, but she'll never say a word. <laughs> it's always a surprise. Oh, can you imagine <laughs> these kids? <laughs> so you guys know your parents very well, right? So what is mine? What do, what do I what do I do? Daddy, you always. always. What? It's our secret. So. Oh, so we're <laughs> keeping secrets now. Hmm. All right, it's good you have secrets and I'm happy that you know your parents very well. Um, Mom, since we are celebrating Daddy's promotion, can I have more food? Of course you can, right after you finish this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so Daddy, what's a new promotion? Oh, back to that. So Daddy has been appointed the new regional manager of his company's branch in Abuja. So we'll be relocating to Abuja soon? No, sweetheart. Uh, we are not relocating to Abuja, you know. What? So you leave us here and go and start living in Abuja? Um, baby girl, Daddy has to go alone first, you know, get used to the environment, then send for us to join him. I'll go with Daddy while you and Junior stay here and leave us. No, Sudat, Sudat, you know you have your school year, your school will be affected, your brother's school will be affected. Um, even your mom, she, she, she works here, so everything is going to be affected, so we can't just move yet. Do sure. you understand? No, no. Happy girl, no. Abby girl. I knew Abby was going to be the problem. Yeah. I'll go and talk to her. Junior? You're cool, right? Just to top up on my week's stack money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's settled. Junior, I want you to be the man in the house. Take care of your mom. Take care of your little sister, okay? All right, Dad. I got your back. I'll be the man in the house while you're gone. All right. That's good. Good. <laughs> At this point, I should be able to write for a transfer back to Lagos or a nearby state. No, it's time to get a bigger apartment so my family can move down here with me. It's best. And I can also have, you know, chances of getting a better offer as a doctor. Hi, hey, Mr. Linda. Hi. How are you? Good. Um, you didn't come out for lunch, so I decided to check up on you. Are yeah, you okay? I... I'm okay, I've just been busy with work, that's all. Oh, you have too much work to do? Yeah. Maybe I can help you handle some, if you don't mind. No, it's okay, I am. Um, Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm literally done. I'm okay, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I got you something. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's food. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, it's quite thoughtful of you. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Thank you so much. <laughs> You're a very caring gentleman, so you deserve everything good. Well, you are thoughtful and caring yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I owe you a week long lunch. Just for this small yeah. guest show? Yes. It's <laughs> no, it's nothing. Oh, no, it's, it's not. I mean, you are the most caring, the most, uh, the most thoughtful colleague I have. So <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate you. It's okay. I won't reject the offer. <laughs> thank you in advance. Oh, and welcome in advance. Okay. <laughs> Let me get back to work. Okay. See you later. Okay. Thank bye. you. Bye. All right. Bye. bye. Oh. She's so sweet. Hey, Sudad. How are you? I'm fine. Did you shower? Yeah, I didn't want you to slip off. <laughs> I couldn't have. I really wanted to talk to you. Same here. How are the kids? 
they're doing good. They're doing well. Maybe I tried getting a bigger apartment for us, but there isn't just any befitting place vacant right now, especially close to uh, the office location. Oh, so why not try another neighborhood? I mean, you're mobile, you can always drive to work irrespective of the distance. And Abuja doesn't have so much traffic like Lagos, so it should work. I've tried, baby. It's just nothing close to the office location, no vacant place that I think is good for us as a family. Oh, I see. It's okay, baby. Just take your time. I'm sorry for the stress I'm making you go through, babe. Baby, let's talk about us. Let's talk about us. I want to relax. I want to relax. Okay. Sit up so I can see you properly. Good morning, hey. Mr. Dilly. Hey, Linda. How are you? Good. You? I'm, I'm fine. I'm wow. Fine. You're looking so charming this morning with your cheerful look. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So, what's the secret? Um, like, Mrs. is in town, right? No, she isn't in town. Um, I just woke up feeling great, that's all. Wow. Yeah. I want to be seeing more of this. <laughs> yeah, really, really good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Linda, I um, wanted to ask you something. Um, the apartment you have here. Yeah. Who helped you get it? Uh, I'm squatting with a friend. Do you want to change your apartment? Yeah, I just uh, need to get a bigger place so that I can relocate my family here. Relocate what? My family, yeah. Uh, why so soon? Why are you relocating them for? Uh, I mean, my wife is... <laughs> It's going through some tough times with the kids, you know. I'm not there, they're used to having me around and, uh, you know, that father for you. So she's finding difficulties just by hey. herself. Yeah. What kind of a woman is she? She wants to leave the comfort of her home. She wants to leave her mansion in Lagos and move to Abuja. All because she wants to live in Abuja. Now, what for some women say for? Hey! Eh? Listen, Mr. Dilly, I must tell you the truth. It is not wise to move your family down here to Abuja, where you have a comfortable home in Lagos. Think about it. Yeah, the thing is, uh, my presence, you know. Um, the children, they need my presence. My wife, she needs my help sometimes. Which present? She won't chop you. Eh? She can't problem with this one. She's Let her stay there and take care of the kids. Or oh, she's scared someone might snatch you no, away on. from her. No, she knows me. She knows me now. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. And I know you too. Because some men will take advantage of this transfer and misbehave. Oh, you, you're here. I see you every day. So you're a cool guy. So let that chill. Anyways, now. Uh... I don't know. What about you? You and your fiancé. How did you guys handle it? Ha. I'm no longer engaged to. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Ha. I'm single. What happened? He didn't want me to take the transfer. And I couldn't give up on my job. And we broke up. Oh my god. It must have been hard. A hard decision to make. Were you guys in love? Did you really love each other? Yes. We were so much in love. But I cannot give up on my career that I have worked for all my life or because of a man. Think about it. Yeah. That's not cool. So. Uh, you're a just, strong woman. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. You are really a strong woman. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying on her bed. What do you mean she's lying on her bed? I don't really know. She says she doesn't want to go to school today. Go on, go. Take her! Yes, madam. Go and get me Abigail. Okay. Abigail! Okay, sorry. Well, don't stay out. Stay home. Give me a go. 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 Give me a go.
Take her paper down. Tana. Abigail, what's the meaning of this? I don't feel good to escort you today, Mama. <laughs> will, you, will, you, will you move, move to the car? Let's Mama, go. Why you people feeling me alone? No? Let's go. Let's go. Jonah, let's go. Let's go to school. Abigail, see. Don't let me see this one. Hey, hey, open the door. Do you know how much your school fees is? Let's go. Don't really stress me today. Ha! What is she doing? Thank you, thank you, and you're looking gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> How have you been now? I've been good, though. I decided to come and see you now, since a work and motherhood will not allow you to step out. I said, make her do like Mohammed now, make her visit the mountain that cannot be moved. <laughs> <laughs> ah, girl, man. So how are you? I'm fine. And I'm the fine. kids? The kids are okay, thank God. So, how is your hobby? Hope you guys speak often. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> We make lots of phone calls, video calls, especially when the kids are asleep and he's back from work. You know, with long distance relationships, communication is important. Ah. Frequent communication. A very strong one at that. I'm telling you. Very strong. I'm telling you. Ah. Babe. So good. You know, I've been I've been I've been meaning to call you and all. I've not reached out as much, I know. And it's just because I've been so stressed. I'm sure you can understand. I don't understand. I do not understand anything. <laughs> eh, how do you expect me to understand when I don't even know anything? She you said this your comic stuff again. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> on a serious note, I'm very, very angry with you. Yes, now. I thought you were avoiding me. Probably people will think I'm hooking you up with me since your husband is not around. So you had to avoid your single friend. Chiwe. Well, but please don't chiwe me. And anyway, that's by the way. <laughs> so tell me, how have you been with Hobby now? What's up? Hope is still Babe. taking you the same way. Wait. Girl, like I said, we talk a lot. We call <laughs> all the time. We call, we do video calls, especially when the kids are asleep and he's back from work. Oh, that is very good, though. <sighs> yeah. So tell me, what do you do with your spare time, you know, when you're not at work and the kids are off to school and you're done with your domestic chores? Well, just like this, I see lots and lots of movies and surf the net. But really, as a gynecologist, I'm hardly ever off duty, you know? We walk around the clock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then let's um, catch up this Saturday. Let's hang out. Of course, we have a lot of catching up to do, but we can't do all that today. I just mm -hmm. came to see your face. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking about that, but I was not like, ah, I may be too busy. Too you busy, Kate. Yeah, I don't know how busy I'll get. Oh, please don't start. Don't start with me. Do you want to tell me if it's your husband that is asking you out on a date? You will give him the story. Jimmy, my husband, as in my guy, the top. Uh -huh. Who are you? You're not normal. At all. <laughs> Who am I? Okay, 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 okay. He's like, I'll just go no, back to my house. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Saturday night. Yeah, we can do Saturday night. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I'll sleep the hangover off on Sunday and go to work on Monday. That works. Now you're talking. Mm -hmm. So, it's a deal. It's a deal. It's a deal. Oh. It's a deal. Dr. Manuela, it's a deal. I'm teaching ways a deal. <laughs> I know we're here. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I had an emergency. <laughs> no. I'm not going to take him. No, 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 no. So, what should I get? Take her. That's what you want. Please bring everything you have in this house. Everything. Yes, I'm not bring everything. Um, the uh, issue with her, like this person, you know. Ah, mother, it's plenty well, well. Just yeah. heat it up for her. Ah, she go like her one. Oh, now I want to come. Yeah, okay. you like that, right? You see, oh, yeah. I mean, that's my favorite. You heard her? <laughs> The issue will make sense. Where? Where are you around with that? Girl, I have missed you. Madam Ducky. Oh, I just, you know, I just want to be happy. Oh, oh not too much. Uh, I don't know. I, I, my account. It has an issue. I don't understand what's going on. I, for the first time, I think I'm shot for the month.
No. This, this software is misleading. What? Yeah. In my department, we use Excel. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just go to my office and get it for you. Um, Excel, I'm not too used to Excel. It's... Don't worry, I'll put you through, okay? It's not going to be a problem. Uh, but is it going to take long? Because I need this uh, report submitted by the close of today. In that case, we'll use my system. Later, I install it in your own system. Oh. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> <sighs> Do I even understand what's happening here? The whole thing just kind of looks uh, corrupted or so. No. Do you have to do that? We are um, busy here. I know it's my wife. I have to take this. Hey, Sudat. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of something so important. Can I call you back? Genio again? What did you do this time? Look, darling, please, I'll call you back, okay? Let me just wrap up with this and I will call you back. All right. All right. Bye. Can we continue now? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's my son. Uh, his mom wanted me to scold him a bit. I'm sorry. Let's continue. Will she report every little thing that goes wrong with the kids? Ah, ah. I'm sorry, oh. Your wife is more childish than the kids. Linda, you don't understand my family dynamics, all right? She should not call to disturb us again, else I will pack up and leave. Um, um, I, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, you know what? I think um, you're tired. We should stop here for now. Just. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. You're tired. You can uh, go and rest. I will. I will continue. The MD has given me more time. It's okay. It's past two hours since we closed work. I'm sorry. Sorry, lover boy. I didn't mean to speak about your wife in such manner. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have. I trust you as a friend. That's why I talk to you about my family issues. Don't abuse it, Linda. <sighs> All right? Don't abuse it, please. I don't appreciate it. I'm sorry. Um, are we cool now? It's okay, bud. I'm, I'm tired. Uh, Rose, it's past 7 p.m. Do you want us to work overnight? It's not just about working overnight. It's, it's okay. I will talk to the MD. You'll give me more time. Right now, I'm tired and uh, I want you to go home to a rest, all right? Maybe I'll come over to your place. Yeah. You'll do that? Why not? What are friends for? All right, cool. Thank you. All right. All right. Hey, Linda. <laughs> Linda, come here. Oh, thank you so much. You are a true friend. I'm telling you, I'm so grateful to God that we got transferred to Abuja together. Come on, sit down. <laughs> do you know that? Do you know that the MD is so pleased with the work we did? Wow. Yeah, he's so happy. I'm happy. You see, Dele, you were of help to me over there in our Lagos branch, and you deserve every assistance, every help anyone gives you. Thank you, thank you. But how can I thank you enough? What do I do? You've been thanking me, Dele. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to kiss me? <laughs> no, you know, I would have if I didn't have uh, lips. Uh, I was already kissing and addicted to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, what are you doing for lunch? Uh, it's past 1 p.m. Um, yeah, but I'm not hungry. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Yeah, I was thinking I'd uh, take you for lunch and spoil you for all the stress I put you through. So you're looking for a way to pay me back? Not really. I just want to show some appreciation to the big girl. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, maybe 
dinner will be better. You know, I'm a foodie, right? Okay, so dinner after work today? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I have a better idea. What is it? What's up in your weekend? My weekend? I don't do much uh, over the weekend. I just watch movies and uh, do video calls with my family, play on the phone, that's all. So who cooks your meal? No one. I, I eat out. Oh, right. Do you have utensils? Yes, I have uh, cooking utensils. Why, why do you ask? Okay. In that case, we are going to bring the dinner to your place on Saturday while oh. I do the cooking. Oh, oh okay. That sounds good. Sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I bet you miss homemade food. Of course I do miss it. I mean, it's been, what, six months? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bills on me, okay? Bills on you? Moi, moi. Yeah. All right. Yes. So, um... <laughs> Then we need to add an appetizer, and I will take care of that. All right? Okay. Thank you so much, Linda. It's okay. Uh, Stop. Okay. I've stopped. <laughs> I've stopped. I've stopped. I'm ready for a night out with my friends. Oh, so you're ready to leave the house now? Uh, no, not yet. But I'll leave in a bit. Hmm. You must be looking so pretty right now. Hmm. <laughs> of course. Do you want to see? Yes, but on video. Okay, okay, just give me a minute and I'll call you on video call, yeah? All right, I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. Come here. I'm not welcome here. You have a visitor? No, no, no. Why you say that? I, uh, I was on the phone with my wife. Okay. Yeah. So how are they doing? Oh, they, they're fine. They're fine. Um, they, uh, they'll they be calling me back. She will be calling me back on video pretty soon. So I'll be upstairs in the bedroom. Okay. You can just show me the way to the kitchen. Then I'll continue your lovey dovey. Oh, that. Yeah. Um, just there. Okay. On the left. Okay, see ya. First of all, yeah. Thank you. I'll be upstairs, okay? Bye. I know. <laughs> You're surprised. But I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> because the normal Emma that I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sorry, let me. It's Hobby. Um Hey baby. Hi sugar. How's your house and going with your friend? It's going great. We're having a great time. Where are you? Oh, King's Lounge by Hilltop. Oh, wow. And I'm here with the star branch away. Hello. <laughs> my in-law, my in-law. Long time, oh. Long time indeed. <laughs> How are you doing, Chiwe? I'm fine. How are you? So when are you coming to visit us now? Oh, oh very soon. Hmm. When you're coming in, bring all the goodies from Abuja. And don't forget to be my clinician. You're very important. Don't forget. Of course, of course. <laughs> hey, baby. I'll call you back later, yeah? Bye bye. Okay. What? Come on now. You should be. That's what I expected you to do. Like, you know, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm here. Do you like what you're saying? Hey. <laughs> Chewing your soul. Chewing your soul, naughty. <laughs> Come on now. Video sex between couples is not really a taboo. Chewing, so you do it? Of course I do that. How do you think Mark and I are keeping strong and happy? When he's there, brother, and I'm here in Nigeria, hoping that he'll come back to marry me someday. Well, your situation is different. Mark is abroad, my husband is in Nigeria. He gets honey, all he has to do is get on a flight to Lagos and voila, he can do the business. Hey, Emma, what? Learn for once. Learn. Huh. 
don't do this thing and make your long distance relationship turn to brother and sister thing. Or... God forbid. Ah. God forbid. I say God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> ah. So when was the last time we slept? Um, six months ago. Six months? I know. I know. And you are this calm. Wait. <sighs> I hope no other woman is taking care of God me. forbid. Actually, why would you even say that? I know my husband, he, he would never cheat on me. God hey, forbid. Is he not even making any plans of relocating you guys? Babe, that's my problem. Anytime I bring up the issue, he's always like, ah, oh, he's trying to find a bigger house that will accommodate all of us and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I don't even know what to do at this point. This doesn't sound good. It doesn't. I don't know. Nothing. What should I do now? I don't think we should talk about it. I've spoken about it. Severally. That's what I'm saying. He'll, he'll just look for excuse after excuse that why he can't, he can't move us to be with him. And I don't know. So maybe when he comes over, maybe when he comes over, we'll, you know, sit down and trash it face to face. Really? Really? Yes. So you just sit like this and wait for him to come? I, there's no, I can't do any other thing now. I don't want to sound desperate if I keep on pressing the issue. Desperate for your own husband again? Okay? This is not sounding from you. Oh, my God, let's talk about something else. I'm tired of this your boring Jesus. Uh, who brought it up? Auntie, who brought it up? Of course, what is that we going to be talking You're tired of the boring Jesus that you brought up. <laughs> eh? Auntie, I'm very soon I'm going to ditch you because I need some single friends. Right? I beg you. So you need to you, call me. You oh. cannot ditch me. You can't. <laughs> Thank you so much for this food. I mean, it's so, so delicious. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Who would have thought that you cook so, so well? Oh, so you were looking down on me? No, no, really. <laughs> Slip wings are the best cook. Oh. And we give all the vibe. All right. Yeah. All right. But I did enjoy the food. It was great. Thank you. Thank you also for your hospitality. <laughs> okay, um, so... Can you help me to make uh, some food meals over the weekend so I can use during the week? I'll I'll pay you uh, to I'll give you money to get the food and uh, I'll pay you for your service. You don't have to pay me. I'll gladly help. Really? Yeah. All right. That's nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> My wife must hear this. You going to tell her? Yeah, she needs to thank you. Won't she read meaning? I mean, it would take a woman who doesn't really care about her husband or her marriage not to read meanings. No, Emma is not like that. She's, she's different. Is that her name? Mm hmm I know she's your wife and you know her better, but I'll still advise you not to tell her. I, are you thinking she's going to come after you for being close to me? Uh... Is that what you think? No, she's 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 different. I mean, she's she's cool. Um, Are you okay? Yeah. Um. Um. I let me just. Let no, no, no! Don't worry. I, I will do that. No, no, no! Do that. It's my kitchen already. <laughs> it's your kitchen. Okay. <laughs> let me. Uh, okay. <laughs> let me help you in the kitchen. <laughs> Say you don't come. You now, nah, Abio. You see this girl? This girl, oh, you just use me the wrong. They use me wrong temple for this house. See so, just because I tell her, say, may she come to her homework. She said she don't want to. You see her, madam. Abigail, is that true? Hmm. Mom, I don't like math. <sighs> but math has always been your favorite subject. What happened? I don't like math anymore because that is no longer here to help me solve my equation. Is that what the problem is? 
I don't want to do it because I will feel it. You won't feel it. You won't feel it, Matt. Um, what's the... Bring your textbook. Let me help you do it. I don't want your help. It's daddy that I want. But daddy is not here to help you. I am. Eh? Do you want to fail, Matt? If I fail, it's daddy's fault because he's the one who abandoned me and went to Abuja. Daddy, come. Come. Um, look, Daddy didn't abandon us, eh? Daddy did not abandon us. Hmm? Daddy did not abandon us. That's not what's happening here. Daddy loves us. Hmm? But why is he not keeping his promise? Ever since he's got to transfer, he has only come four times. So you're counting? Yes, no. That's how I know if he's keeping his promise or not. <sighs> Abigail, that is busy. He's very busy. And he'll come visit us once he's less busy, eh? Why is he always busy? Can't he take a Be break? He, he will. Trust me, he will. And he'll come and see his favorite girl. Mm? I miss my daddy. I know, I know you miss him. Abigail! Mm. Abigail! <laughs> The father is the regional manager of this company and being a regional manager comes with lots of responsibilities. A lot of people depend on me, a lot of things I have to do. He has people depending on him, he has a lot of responsibilities. You need to make them understand. I'm not away from the house because I just want to be. Okay, okay, listen, I, I will find, I will try to make time at the end of the month. I'll try to make time and I will come around to spend some time all right honey i'm i'm so tired i i need to i need to just get some rest okay all right i'll, I'll call you i'll call you i'll call you later all right bye who is that Hey, um, thank you for holding it down. After the storm comes, hello. Oh, um, good day, sir. My clothes ready? Yes. Okay. Everything is in there. All right, thank you. Mm. Uh, how much is it? It's 15,000. All right. Yes, okay. Can you send me your account yeah. details? So I yes, sir. Sure. Just send the money to you. Okay. Yeah, I sent it there. All right. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Um. Sir, yeah. sir, um, hmm? sir, I wanted to inform you that we also run cleaning services as well. You know, we clean to perfection. We are one of the best in town. We pay attention to details. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can help us tell Madame that in case she can't do the job, we are always here for her 100. Wow, great. You're actually great at marketing, you know that? <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, but first of all, there is no Madame in this house. That's why you, I think, were able to notice that the place is not as tidy as it should be. Wow. Uh, but uh, I'll take you up on that. I'll, I'll give you the job. I'll, yeah. Wow, thank you, sir. Um, thank you. How much is it and what time do you guys work? Okay, so apparently we do, we usually do once a week, sometimes twice. So mm -hmm. the once a week is usually Saturdays. And then if you want to do twice a week, it's Wednesdays and Saturdays. Okay, I'll take Saturdays. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, that's, so that's fine, sir. How much is it? It's 40,000 naira. For it no, no, it's okay. It's fine. Thank you so much, sir. Trust me, you won't regret it. We have the best cleaning service in town. Thank you so much. I'll take my leave now. Okay. Thank you. I'll let you know when I get there last. Hmm. Huh? Saturday, they fly. See, 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 see. Cash out now. You won't leave. The 
Oh, um, this film. Man. Auntie Tega. Hey. Auntie Tega. Waiting now. Waiting. Come quickly, Junior Veretti. Come quickly. Abe, come on for you know see you know you know you know see this film. Wait wait wait. Where are they wash now? Your spirit is not like her. Eh? You just can't disturb person now. What's happen? I don't know. He's vomiting. Vomiting, okay. What's he going to do, Junior, now? She's not the same food way with chop. Now, Junior is chopped now. What's he going to do? Now? What's he going to do? Now? What's he going to do? Now? Oh, 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 leave me, Joe. Ah, she can't even matter with this self. Ah, see, see, better feel where person don't just enjoy. They're not going to allow person rest for this time. Ah, oh. Junior! Junior! Junior, what did they do you now? Junior, what did happen now? What did they stop now? Junior! Junior! I'll be wrong, 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 wrong. Go bring me my phone. Junior! Junior, Hey! Uh. Junior, what did they do you? Junior! Hey! Oh my goodness! Junior! Junior! Hey! My God! Junior, I tell you drink beer! Hey! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Be, Junior! Be, be, be. Call your mommy, call your mommy! Oh, which kind of problem with this? Mommy's now bad, no going. Hey, which kind of problem with this now? What's the person who come to that? Nah, I'm calling call? daddy. Which daddy you won't call? Not try him. Your mommy don't say me, I don't call your daddy. Except that. Oh, God. You're not the one calling him. It's me. Besides, it's an emergency and it's ringing. This kind of emergency. Oh, yeah. Give me that phone. Give me the phone. It's 3 a.m., Tigger. What's the matter? Nah, 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 Junior. Eh? Junior just did it for me since, since they sick. Eh? You know, okay, say Junior go drink beer. And the beer when you come drink, come the cash out. Eh? As I did like this now, I don't even know what I want to do. You can't just did it for me since. Where's my wife? Okay, she, she, she not there around. She's no, she never come back. What do you mean she, she never come? Okay, she go night walk. I like myself, not the info my go self. Alright, so where's Junior now? What's the state? Oh god, the state be saying Junior just did it for me too. I mean, I no call no waiting I won't do as I did like this now, self. Okay, listen to me, this is what you're gonna do. Baby, I'm so sorry. I didn't know my phone was down. I just checked on him. He's doing okay. You know, I carried out four deliveries last night. I'm exhausted. Can I call you back later? Emma, I'm not happy about what happened last night. <sighs> Baby, me too. And I plan to give him a proper scolding when he wakes up. And I suggest you do the same. I'm talking about your absence. My absence? What has my absence got to do with this? I'm sure if you were around, if you had been home, he wouldn't be brave enough to take beer and drink it. Okay, um, Dele, are we talking about my absence in a home where we are both responsible for the development of our children? Emma, I think it's high time we stopped night shift. <laughs> Look, Dele, I'm a gynecologist. So night shifts or no night shifts, if there's an emergency in my department, I will be called upon. Then quit. Excuse you? Yes, the children need you. You need to be around. The children cannot grow up in the absence of so you need to make that sacrifice and be around to watch over them. Oh, and whose presence have they been crying for daily? Please, whose presence and what have you done about it? So I'm supposed to abandon my work and come to Lagos and sit down and pamper the children. Yes, Dele, if that's what it takes. Yes, your key Sam is behaving the moment you move to Abuja. Yes, and you're constantly breaking your promises to them is not helping any matters. Can you... Can you just stop changing the topic? Wait, Dele, you asked me to quit my job. Really? I'm not asking you to quit your job just like that. I told you, stop working night shifts. Okay, and what practicing doctor does not take night shifts? Please, which practicing doctor doesn't do that? And even if it's doable, even if it's doable, it's your presence here that matters, not mine. That's why I'm saying we need you fully in the house. Look, Dele... Look for a way to make it up to your children. Hmm? Your absence in this house is the one causing all these issues with our children. So look for a way and move back to Lagos. Please. Please. 
Junior! Junior, you're being influenced by peer pressure, so I'm going to contact a therapist for you. No, no, please, I'm fine. I don't need a therapist. I promise it's so happening again. Mm -hmm. And seeing a therapist to ensure that it doesn't happen again. No, no, please, I'm not losing my mind. I don't need a therapist. Seeing a therapist would only make me feel abnormal. Seeing a therapist doesn't make you feel abnormal. It shows that you're getting help for your psychological... Mom, I'm fine, please. Mom, I won't be home anytime the therapist shows up. Junior, is that a threat? Mom... Look, I'm going to contact the therapist for you. And I'll personally drive you to your sessions. Mom, mom... Facts. I'm going to talk to Anthony about this. Don't even waste your airtime. Use my phone. Call him. Use my phone. No, go on. Call, call, call your father. Go, 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 go. go to your room. Go to your room. Hello, Uncle. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. Good evening, Emanuela. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, and how is my niece and my nephew? They're doing great, Uncle. Good. And uh, how is my brother? When last did you speak with him? Uncle, that's the reason I'm calling you. You called because of him. I hope there's no problem. Uncle, see, since Dele got this promotion and got transferred to Abuja, he has changed. He doesn't keep his promises anymore and he's affecting our children badly. Hmm. I see. This is very serious. And have both of you talked about it? Yes. And he, has, he suggested I quit my job. I see. He says that my absence is the one making the children act this way. And Uncle, my job has nothing, nothing at all to do with Junior misbehaving. Anyway, I have heard you and I want to assure you. Quit your job, okay? But I'm going to call him right away. Hmm? Uncle, please talk to him. Please, please. Because this is too much for me. If he cannot move us to join him over there in Abuja, then he should move back to Lagos. Because I can't do this on my own. Really, I can't, Uncle. Uh, Emanuela, now you listen to me. Hmm? I have promised you I am going to speak with my brother. And I want to reassure you that you are not going to quit your job. Is that clear? So please just talk to him more because uh, if he doesn't come back, I will leave. Oh. Uncle, I will leave. Okay. I understand you, my dear. I will talk to him. Okay? Thank you, Uncle. Okay, bye. Hey, brother. Aha. Uh -huh. Good morning, sir. Dele, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Buja is okay. You are doing well. I see. Now, can your own family you left here in Lagos say the same? I don't understand, sir. When last did you visit your family here in Lagos? A couple of months ago. There you are. A couple of months ago. Several months ago. In fact, almost half of the year is gone. Hmm? Is that right? Eh? Dele. Come on. That's not right. Hmm? And this is what I heard from Emanuela. But she called you. Of course she called me. Dele. You are not doing well. And I must tell you the truth. 
but uh, nothing serious is happening. I think Emmanuel is just trying to find issues where there are no issues. Dele, just listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself. Brother, I'm not in Abuja for vacation. I'm not here having fun. I'm here working. I mean, they, 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 she's the mother of the kids. They didn't need one of the parents. She's there. Let her take on the responsibility. She's not complaining about her role. It is your role which is a father figure. That's exactly what she needs. That's what she's complaining about. And you're not there. Do you remember what I told you about this, your promotional transfer? Yes, sir. What exactly did I tell you? You told me that I should... I should communicate with my wife often and I should not leave my family for too long. So now, have you been able to do that? Brother, it's work. I... Are you saying that Emanuela is not contributing to the overall welfare of the family? That you want her to quit her job? I'm not saying she's not contributing, brother, but the fact is that she doesn't need to. I mean, whatever she's doing right now, she can take the time and take care of the kids, spend more time with the kids, whatever they need. So, it means you are not listening to me. Sir, I'm listening to you. Just that I, 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 don't, I don't think like I can, I can leave my work right now. And about coming back home to visit often, I will try to do that more often. I, I, can't, I, can't re I can't resign from my job. You must come back home and visit your family. And that is how any responsible, reasonable man can, can, can do for himself and his family. Family is everything, Dele. Okay, sir. Bye-bye. And make sure you call Emanuela. Emanuela, what is she even doing? Emma, what are you doing at home? Those late night uh, shifts you're taking. If you're not taking them, you have more time to spend with the kids and you know what's going on with them. And you help me. <sighs> Don't even understand. What has come over him? Why would he ask you to quit from a professional career you spent almost half of your life working on? Babe, I, I, I don't understand what's going on. I don't know what to make of all this, honestly. He wants to tie you down. He knows exactly what he's doing. I mean, how can Dilly turn to this man you're talking about all of a sudden? See, Dilly is driving me nuts. I'm telling you, we haven't... We haven't been in communication this past two weeks. I'm telling you. We do not call. We do not text. Nothing. <sighs> Daily. Ha. Babe. I think you need to pay him a visit in Abuja. You guys need to sort this thing out now. There is nothing to sort out. Why will he tell me to quit my job? There is absolutely nothing to sort out. See, problems like this don't just spring up. And you don't have to allow it to linger. This thing might look little low, but it can spoil your marriage. What? It's already spoiling. It's already affecting our marriage, babe. It is. Ah, uh -uh. Why would Dele choose to frustrate me like this? What did I do to him? Eh? What, what did I do to him? This was not what we agreed on before he left Lagos. This wasn't it. So I beg, no, no. Ah, uh -uh. Why am I suffering like this because of this man? Why? Babe, babe, do you, do you see how stressed I am? Do you know, do you know what I, I go through every day? I attend to at least 20 patients daily. Then when I come back home, it's one problem or the other with the children. All because of their father's absence. That's true. Like, babe, Junior feels like he's a man of the house and can just make decisions from nowhere. Abigail feels like her father abandoned her. What am I going to do? It's just chaos upon chaos upon chaos. I'm tired. Chiri, I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't... That is the more reason you should pay him a visit. You guys need to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. You can't continue like this. Oh, 
Tell your back. Hey. Oh, okay. Bathroom. I was just cleaning the bathroom. I didn't want to wait till we can. Okay. Well done. Well done. Um, um, if you'd excuse me, I just want to change my my um okay. outfit. All right. What I wear home. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rose? Yes, sir. Um, Is everything okay, it's, sir? It's, no, it's nothing. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I go now? Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. I'm ready to leave now. Yeah, um... <sighs> Sir, is... Is everything okay? Yeah, um... Rose? Sir? Rose, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, Sam. I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not that type of man, too, but I just can't help what I feel for you. I can't hold it, Rose. Sam. Rose, come. So it has gotten to the point where the lady no longer picks up my calls. Don't let this linger longer than it is already. At least pay him a visit in Abuja so you two can sort these things out. As little as this looks, it's capable of tearing you two apart. to do laundry. It's okay. It's fine. Um, how are the kids? Um, next weekend? You mean this ending of this weekend? You should have discussed it with me. Emma, you love picking fights, right? I'm not. It's okay, it's fine. I mean, if you're sure you'll be able to put things in place before you come, then I'm okay with it. Okay. 
you to get to rest. are you doing? Oh, Junior, you like seeing naked ladies, right? No, no. That's what they are teaching you in school. Mommy, no, no, eh? no, no. That's what they are teaching no, you in school. No, no, no. Junior, no, no, no. no, no. no. You Mommy, want to be a professor. Mommy, please stop. Mommy, please 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 Mommy, what have I done to you? Why do you and your father want to frustrate me? Please, why? I'm sorry, please. I won't do it again. Mm. You will sorry. do it. You always do. You will do it again. Junior, where are you learning all these things from? You are only 16 for crying out loud. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, please. You know Forgive me, mommy. Please, I'm sorry. I will teach you a lesson. You want to watch naked ladies, eh? No, that's what they're teaching you in school. To watch naked girls. Junior, okay now. See, you don't annoy me. Don't annoy me. Okay, you hurt him. Get me my phone. Mommy, no, 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 please, please don't talk that about it. Get me my phone. Let me. Hey, I'll be a good boy first, mommy. Please, no, no, no. Please, no, father. Mommy, don't talk about this, mommy. Please, please, mommy, please, no, no, no. Let me talk, madam. So wait, Junior. Yes, mommy. Tell me something. Wait, this, this stupid, useless behavior you were learning, eh? Who did you intend to practice it on? Who? Your sister? Eh? Mom, okay. please, no, mom, please, I'm sorry. Madam. Mom, please. Madam, what? I beg, no verse. I beg, no verse. I don't know what Gina don't do this time. But you see, you see, you see, it's after they look Gina like this. Madam, I swear, Gina don't change. Ah, you don't repent, Madam, like forgive me. Keep quiet and never you cut me again. Ah. Don't, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Put to me. You will not use a phone until you turn 20. Rubbish. This is what you're, you're, you're learning. All of you get out of my side, everybody. This is what you're learning in school. Junior, what did you do again? Shut up and get out of here. Ah. Bima, what's the problem? Babe, you won't imagine what I just caught Junior watching. He was watching naked ladies on his phone. God of mercy. Like, babe, I was so shocked. I hope you scolded him. Scolded him. I gave him the beating of his life and I hope he sinks into his brain. So sorry for what you're going through. I couldn't have imagined that your once peaceful life will someday be filled with crisis. I'm telling you, and I called Dilly and he won't even take his calls. Don't let this get to his ears. Please, don't tell him. Else he will keep his stance and you will end up no, Chiwi. I think I should tell him. Maybe this will make him move back quickly. That dude is not ready to come home. So don't change the plan. It's better you face it and see things for yourself. Babe, you have a point. Give him a reminder call. So he'll book your flights. Possibly before he gets busy with work. I don't even know why I left the flights booking to him. Babe, I'll do what you've said. I'll do it now. Send him a screenshot of your ticket so he knows how serious you are. I'm on it. Babe, thank you very much. Yeah? Let me check on the kids and see how they're doing, yeah? All right, dear. Yeah. And take good care of yourself, eh? I will. Okay, yeah, bye. Here we are. This is nice. Hmm. Nice. But it's too small for us. Oh, maybe we can manage it till we get something bigger. You always 
talking about moving to Abuja when you are not even ready to let go of your job? <laughs> even my job is not a problem at all. Do you think yes, so? Yes. If I resign today, I'll get a better offer here. Oh, that's an assumption. You don't know for sure. Okay, baby, the family needs to be together. We need to be together. Oh, don't you miss me? Don't I miss you? Yes. I should be asking you that. Since you came, you never hugged me, you never kissed me. All you're talking about is relocating the family to Abuja. But it's an important issue to sort out. All right. I know. Emanuela, we just got here. Hmm? You know, I've been talking about kissing me, hugging me, telling mm -hmm. baby I miss you. Hmm? When you met me at the airport, I kissed you and you didn't kiss me back. Yeah. I see you're looking for a way to fight, right? I'm not ready to fight. Okay, wait. I'm not. Um, I didn't come to fight. Mm. I came to see my husband. Uh, but I missed you. Okay, I miss you too. Are you sure you missed me? I do. I miss you. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. okay let me show you upstairs. Okay. Let me show you the rest of the house, okay? All right. Especially the room. Oh, the room. Okay, okay. so now you've been sweet. <laughs> to do about this junior situation because it's really getting out of control. What do you want to do about him? I don't know. Maybe send him to rehab or something. What? No, 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 no. No? That's too extreme. Yeah. Baby, I'm the one with him at home. Trust me, if I'm telling you that junior is out of control, he is. Babe, no. Like... Junior is my son. I mean, my boy. This is distressful, babe. It, it, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Okay, I will apply for a short leave and I will come and spend some time. Short leave? Yeah. Baby, that's a long process now. Uh -uh. Uh, how long will it take you to travel from Abuja to Lagos? It won't even be up to a day. Maybe just pick a weekend, okay. come to Lagos, see the kids. Let them see you. Let them be reminded that you're still in their lives. Just, you know, plan and come, you know. All right, just all plan right, all babe. weekend okay. and come over. That's fine, okay. They'll be happy to see you. I know. So what I will do is I'll go back to Lagos with you on, on Sunday. Sunday morning. What? And I, yeah, and I'll come back on Monday. And then go to work. <laughs> Oh, that's my man. Oh, it's okay. Baby, I'm so happy. Baby, they'll be so happy to oh, see you. I miss them too. I mean, just the work, but I really miss them. It's you know okay. what? What? Let's call them on video. Okay, let me call them. Let me surprise them on my, my phone. Okay. Evening, Tega. How are you? Ah, okay, they're fine now. And the kids, I hope they're not making any trouble. Ah, no, okay. Then they're fine. They just do okay, sir. All right. Okay, sir. Put them on the phone. Eh, uh, Junior. Junior. Ebi. Your daddy won't follow and talk. Uh, hello, daddy. Junior, how are you? I'm fine, dad. Uh, mom, when are you coming back? Is this guy serious? Your mother has been with me for just a day, and you were asking when she's coming back. Uh, I just miss her, that's all. She's here. She's just angry because Atega gave me the phone first. Yeah, give her the phone. Hello, my angel. Daddy, I want my own phone now. It's okay. You will get yours, but not until you turn 20. That law was made just for Junior. No, no. It's for you both. Daddy, from 18, I'm responsible for my actions. Okay, Daddy. Daddy, are you coming for my birthday? Of course. I guess what? You're coming with a big gift for me? I will be coming with Mommy on Sunday. I have something special for you. 
Ok. Contigo. Junior, surprise. Daddy and mommy are coming on Sunday. No problem. My brother will come, so don't worry. My gift will be there. Jealousy. Baby? Hmm? You know, I just remembered how much I missed your food. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of when we started our lives earlier. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. You should be cooking all those delicious food for me. He's trying to catch me, right? <laughs> Oh, let me check on the laundry. We'll be right back. Okay. I told you to come the day after tomorrow. You, you didn't get my message. Well, it doesn't matter. I won't stress you. No, you okay. just can't be here. I told you the day after tomorrow. Please. You can come and clean the place. You can't be here. Come on. Hello. Oh, uh, sweetheart. Um, this is uh, Rose, uh, my cleaner. She comes here on Saturday to clean and cook. Oh. Um, sometimes she comes during the week. Oh. Rose is my wife. Nice to meet you. Okay, so Rose, you can go about your, your business. Yes, um, just start with the bedroom, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Baby, you look Oh, sorry, baby. You took it Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, let's start from here. This little kid, huh? So, so smart. I know. You never told me you were married. Rose, you didn't ask me. Really? So, so what did you mean when you said what we have is special? Tell me! And, and... I meant every single thing I said to you. I know what I said. And I meant every word I said to you. I love you. You love me? Well, that woman doesn't look like someone you're not in love with! It's different. Oh. She's my wife. What I feel for you is different to what I feel for her. Trust me. Trust you? How do I trust a man who never told me about his status? Tell me! You bring your voice down. Tell me to bring my voice down! Dilly, you lied to me! You, you lied to me like, like I'm some, some, some cheap whore! Mean to lie to you. Look, how do I, how do I prove to you that I love you? Because when I say I love you, that's all that should matter to you. Because I do love you. Well, what matters to me is that you have a woman in your life. I don't even know how many more women you have in your life that I'm yet to discover. Rose, what is it going to take for you to trust me? Because uh, what is it going to take for you to see me for who I truly am? Because I'm not that, that man you, you take me for. I don't know you. Just, just, just go. No, Stay please, away from no, me. Please, no, I know. Okay, I'm wrong. I should have told you. I should have. I should have told you I wasn't married. Please, just give me a chance to make it up to you. Just give me a Just, 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 just go. Don't just, touch me. Just, don't touch me. Just, just, Oh, oh, where's the husband? Um, he's, in, he, he's in the bathroom. Oh, okay. When he gets out, tell him his phone is ringing, yeah? Oh, no problem, ma'am.
So what lies did you tell your wife before coming here? Look, um, she will be leaving this evening and uh, everything will be okay. But I came to ask you something very important. What is that? Move in with me. Yeah, the weekends are not enough, Rose. I want you closer. Wait, Please. What? Look, Rose, this is the only way I can prove to you how much I love you. How much I want you by my side. And when she comes visiting, what happens to me? I disappear into thin air? No, that's not going to happen. I will, I will make sure of that. She's not coming back. Don't you guys have kids together? Yeah, we have kids, but... Rose, we can have our separate life together right here. Nobody knows this place. Nobody knows where I am, not even my close friends. It's just two of us, you and I. And is that supposed to even make me feel better? No, I'm not moving in with Rose, you. Rose, come on. I know you're mad at me, I know you are angry, but please, let me do this. Look, forgive me. If you want, if you want me to take you to her right now and then introduce you as my second wife, I will. I will, I'm serious, I will. Dad, you don't even get it. I hate sharing my man. Look, I thought it was just me in your life. Rose, Rose, it's just you. In my heart, it's just you. If you, if you open up my heart right now, all you will find in my heart is the love I have for you. You are the only one in my heart, Rose. Please, don't push me away. Come on. Thank I need you. I need you right now. Hey, babe. Baby, where have you been? We're not taking my calls. I'm sorry, baby. I went to get this for Abby. Oh, she's going to love it. I know. Oh. <laughs> ah, but baby, you should have told me. I've shown me around town or something. I wanted to surprise you, baby. And I uh, got this for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see. Whoa, baby, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. You're welcome. Well, baby, we need to head out now or else we miss our flight. Babe. So? I um, have something to tell you. Okay. Babe, I'm sorry. I won't be going to Lagos as planned. Babe. Baby, baby, you promised. You promised. I know. But something came up. What came up? There was this meeting at the office. I have to be there at uh, 7 38 in the morning. Yeah, but like you said, you you, you will take the first flight out now. Baby, Please. I know, but I'm just afraid. What if something happens, you know? The flight now is rainy season. They could postpone the flight. And I just can't afford to be late for this meeting. Please. Abigail won't be happy about this. She won't. I know I will talk to her. No, baby, I won't be too. Like, can't you can't you um reschedule this meeting? Maybe move it to like say um twelve noon. I can't. I can't. It's impossible. It's a meeting of the board of directors. There's nothing I can do about it. Emergency meeting. I have to be there. If it were something in my purview, I would have easily done it. But I can't, babe. I'm sorry. Baby, okay. I feel like I'm leaving a part of me back here. Baby, Abby won't be happy about this at all. She, do, you, the kids really want to see you. I will talk to them. I will talk to Abby. I promise. 
Yes. Babe. Babe, I'm not happy either. Babe, come on. We've talked about this. And besides, we spent a lot of time together since you came on Friday. But, but baby, I, I, feel, uh, I feel empty. I feel like I'm leaving a part of myself behind. Baby, it's about the children. They are misbehaving. If they were behaving right, then I would have wanted you to spend even more time here. But you can't. You have to go back to them. I don't want us to get in more trouble with the children. Baby, hey, please. We'll be together soon. Huh? You promise? I promise. This one. Yeah. What's in the door? Who is that? Take it, it's me. <laughs> Mother, welcome. Uh, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, my sweetheart. How are you? For you from daddy. Yay! <laughs> Mother, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Where's daddy? Oh, daddy couldn't make it as planned. He's very busy. Why is daddy always doing this? Why do you always doing this? Baby, come. Oh, it's okay. Thank Mother, you. Mother, how are you? I don't know how I'm fine now. Thank you. Oh, I am so tired. Hey! Ah. Mother girl, are you sure I'm going to feel bad? Are you sure I'm mad? That's so. That's so. You see all these girl children? That's so then they do. They and their papa, they did clothes like this. Ah! Then they be like, say, they be bread and butter. That's so then they do. Why you no know verse? No verse from? At Tega. Eh? Do you go to school at all? Ha. Why is it sh so bad? Me? I don't go to school at all. Hmm. Boy, see that school. School near me. Boy, see eh? All these people where dog these days, school now scam. Nothing way people where they where they school they do with me, I don't know. Me, I learn a for street. Ha! Nothing way you go talk like this, where me, I don't go talk back. Anything way you could say you won't begin to sign anyhow. And they grab immediately. <laughs> Forget to. Now for this one, I has where I come. I can't, de, I can't de keep myself with all this one. I uh, borrow English when I just uh, speak. Anyhow, I don't get that time. Juno, why did you ask her that all of a sudden? She's uh -huh. been living with us for a while. I'm just very curious, Mom. Why can't she speak her own English? I'll be a pigeon, see? Why can't she be free? Because in my school, some of our cleaners speak pigeon, and we understand them perfectly well. Well? Pigeon is street language. Uh -huh. Have you heard? Uh -huh. So he's not allowed in this house. Once you cross over that place, you speak Queen's English. Right? Tega, am I right? You're right, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So that's why she's still trying to learn, you know, and improve her English as she listens to you, right? Uh. Okay. Madam. That settles it. Tega. No, no, allow Junior. May you stress you like that. May I help you go run your water so that you go back. No problem. Thank you. is happening but I'm gradually falling out of love with my husband. Emma, come on. We just came back from Abuja. Did something happen? No. Or is there someone else? No, no, no. Look, there's this huge divide between Dele and I and it's his fault. It's his fault and I'm trying so hard not to hate him for it. Huge divide. This is your husband and the father of your kids you're talking about. I mean, what went wrong? Didn't you guys talk? We did. 
we talked, we, everything was rosy, everything was sweet, up until the last minute. Then it was just downhill from then. You won't believe that as <laughs> I've been back for how long and I've not spoken to him for up to one minute. You can't be serious. Okay, the other night, I called him severally and he didn't take my calls. <laughs> Probably he was fast asleep. Nope, he wasn't. He was on another call. At 2 a.m., I called him. He didn't take my calls. The following day, he didn't call me back. When I called him, he said he didn't see any of my calls. I'm like, really? Hey. And who was he talking to at 2 a.m.? Who? Maybe he didn't see the calls. He did. Trust me, he did. <sighs> Emma, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I just have to forgive myself for putting this to you. What if there is someone else? I mean, you were there. Didn't you see a, see a clue or something? Like a clue? Yeah. I don't remember seeing anything that could have pointed out cheating on you, no. Dr. Emma? Hello. <laughs> so I knew my eyes were not failing me. It's me, Frank. The husband to late Fiona that died in the hospital after childbirth due to complications. Oh my god, Mr. Frank! Yes, it's me! How have you been? I've been good. Good to see you. How is baby? Baby, I I lost my baby three days after I left the hospital. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's Please fine. accept my condolences. I'm so sorry. This must be really hard on you. Yeah. It's really been hard, but I have moved on now. I'm fine. I'm okay. Hey, Mr. Frank. How's my dog doing today? I'm doing great, you? Um, probably I just drove by the hospital. I thought I should call and... Oh, it would have been great to see you, but I'm presently not in the hospital. I'm off duty today. Oh, okay. Can I stop by tomorrow? Sure, you can. Is there a problem? Oh, I just want to see you, nothing more. Oh, okay. Um, you can come by at um noon. You're welcome. Bye for now. Bye. Um. <clears throat> um. Hello, sir. Yes. Good day, principal. What? Okay, sir. Um. I'll be on my way now, sir. <sighs> Junior. <sighs> Junior, 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 you want to kill me, Junior. Who's oh, that? I'm coming. I'm so sorry. I really don't know what happened. I didn't want to call you on the phone. I just said, let me come here and apologize in person. Sit down. <sighs> Linda, you told me that the new software is the best. You told me it's, it's, it's fast. Yes. It's going to help us and get things done properly. What happened? I'm shocked. Because I did it the same way I do mine. So I don't know what went wrong. So what do we do? Uh, maybe we should do another calculation. What? Um, do another calculation? Linda, do you remember I took that to the board already? I took that calculation. Whatever we did, I took to the board already. So you want me to go back to them and tell them that I made a mistake? Do you know how stupid I'm going to look? I'm sorry, but there's nothing we are going to do. We just have to. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Look, Emma, I'm busy, 
Okay? I'm working. I'm busy. Dile, your son. Emma, just stop. Just stop it. You're a mother. Why don't you handle your, your motherly duties? I'm at work. You keep calling me about this, this child, that child. What is it? Do I call you to tell you about my work issues? This is mother is stop. They're stopping me now. What, what was going on with you? Dele, <sighs> just take it. Hey, 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 just stop. Don't, 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 don't even suggest anything. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry I'm shouting at you. I shouldn't have. I'm just stressed, like, I don't want to lose my new position. You're not going to lose it. Everyone sees you as the new managing director. Okay. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for always being kind, okay? Thank you, too. You've been wonderful. You've been a, a wonderful colleague. I appreciate you, too. <sighs> I didn't tell you, but um, when I move on to my new position, you will take over my office. What? Yeah. I told the board that you were the best person to take, take over my position. Oh my god! <laughs> thank you! Thank you! Okay. Thank you! Okay. Thank you so much, Dele! It's okay. Oh my god! Okay. This is the best news ever! I'm so grateful! Thank you! Do you want something to drink? I'm, I'm full, I'm full, I'm okay. Alright. Hey! Oh my god! Dele! Do you do that water, for me? Okay. <laughs> What's going on? You look so happy. That's because I'm the happiest man on earth right now. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what's making you the happiest one? Because I noticed you came back early. What's going on? Yep, I uh, came back to share the good news with you. Okay. I have been promoted to the position of general manager of my company. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, darling. Wow! Congratulations, thank babe. You, thank you, darling. Mm. Thank you, darling. What? This calls for a celebration. Of course, we're going to Jeez celebrate. Me. Wow. Yeah. But mm. Does that mean you have to relocate to Lagos? Why did you say so? Because your head office is in Lagos, and you being the general manager, how are you going to be managing that from Abuja? Well, the board has made it optional for me, you know. And besides, I am the new general manager. I can decide where I make my headquarters. Mm. Yeah. So that's not a big deal, baby. Okay. So what's it going to be? Uh, what is it going to be? I am going to work here in Abuja for now and uh, gradually move the headquarters to Abuja. Babe. Why? Come on. No, I know you meant well for me. I'm crazy about you. Come here. Come close. Baby. I am super crazy about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to be here for you, with you. Oh, you know what? Why? Uh, a couple of my friends, my colleagues, they want to host me into a congratulatory party Ooh. so you're gonna get dressed look your best and uh, i'm taking you out baby uh, looks like i'm going to dress to kill tonight i can't wait to see you dress Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think before you enter the bathroom let me go upstairs and uh and get ready at least let me leave the bathroom it's all all to right. you let me quickly tidy up the kitchen yeah, yeah. all right oh. This is going to drive him crazy. I can't let him see this message. I have to delete it. Mommy, please.
Where did you go to? Where have you been? Going to somewhere is very important. Mommy, um, the junior coming back. Of course, he'll come back. He will. Tell her. Yes, madam. I'm sorry I couldn't call you last night. I was I was in a bad trip. Ah, madam. You see yesterday night, eh? I, you put me for high tension. I swear. See, now, self, eh? I just they struggle. They see I won't take on them. Ah, I fear well, well, low. Ah. Sorry about that. Tell her, sorry. I hope you didn't call my husband. Ah, madam, I call it him, oh. But he no pick. He no come pick at all. He no pick. It's okay. It's okay. Since he has chosen to, to remove himself from everything happening here, that's fine. I hope he remains in Abuja. But, Madam, I beg, no verse. You are, you are not gonna they get beef. Tell her, don't worry about that. Um, get me a uh, goat meat with the soup. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. How are you doing? Junior do something very bad. He'll come back soon. Very soon. He's in a place where they will screw his head back on straight, you understand? And when he had when he's done with that, he'll be back. He'll be back and he'll be better. Hmm? Okay, mom. Your brother will be back soon. Go and join and stay in the kitchen. Okay, mom. Okay, so the non-quantitative factors are bargaining power, skill of the negotiators, other strategies of the firms involved. Yeah? Hey, mommy. Okay. Yes, darling. I don't be an accountant anymore. But why? That has always been your dream. I don't want to be an accountant anymore because I don't want to abandon my family like daddy did. Um, okay, um, baby girl, just give me two minutes and I'll call you back to continue your homework, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hi, Mr. Frank. Hello, pretty friend. Hey. Oh, you are not sounding cheerful today. I hope all is well. Yes, I'm fine. Bored? Hey, if you want, come on, Madeba. You want to come? No, I'm... Uh... You are sounding heavy at it. Listen, I'm a good listener and counselor. You want to be my patient, doctor friend? Well, if you're going to be my therapist, then maybe because I really need someone to talk to right now. But I haven't booked a session yet. Well, you just consider this a benevolence, dear doctor friend. <laughs> so, are you coming? Tega! Tega! Yes, madam. Um, Tega, I'll be heading out. Okay, ma. So, don't let anyone come in unless I call you. Okay, ma. Yeah? Yes, ma. Okay. And take care of Abby girl. We'll see you guys shortly. Okay, mom. Yeah. Ah. I'm still there. Where's mommy off to again? Hey! Hey, hey, Jesus. Nothing with Tega, no go see for this house. So, you miss it for your mind now. You they ask me where your mama they go. You know, see her? She just come out now. Now, waka, she don't waka, be that too. Hi, chef. Um, see, eh? Wait till they hungry me now, eh? As I day like this, eh? Ah, because I don't tire for everything that happened for this house. Now to just run, leave and come up for this one house as I day like this now, eh? Huh? Eh, nah? They say, eh? Now run and run and come up so. Because I don't tire for all of them. First, you go come, they ask me questions up and down. I don't just get that strength. And I just leave me as I day like this. Tega, please, don't. I 
Hey, honey. Hey, hey. Oh. Uh -huh. What is it going to be? Me or she? What are you talking about? <laughs> the celebration of you being the general manager of Home Appliance. Oh, with that? Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I saw the letter and it says you should come with your wife. So, who are you taking? Me or she? Why are you asking me that? <laughs> because we've never talked about it. Ross, can we not have this conversation, please? Oh, darling, we need to have this conversation because I need to start making plans on how we are going to appear at that event. Except you have other plans. Other plans like what? Well, other plans like taking your wife instead of me. Rose, mm -hmm. my company knows my legal wife. Oh. So now you're spitting it out. So what I am? Your illegal wife that has to stay on the back bench? Huh? Listen. Just to burst your bubbles. Emma doesn't even know that I've gotten a promotion. She has no idea. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Are you guys that over? We haven't spoken in a while. She doesn't even pick my calls. So, what's the fuss about? Well, that's none of my business. All I care about is my place here. And let's set the record straight. There is no way you are going to that event with your wife while I'm here. It's not even possible. Okay? You know what? I need to be left alone. Hello, Daddy. Angel? Daddy, I'll run away. Oh. Me too. I'll run away. What? Mommy had left us, I don't know where she went to. And I take her to her said that she'll run away. Angel, just calm down and talk to me. What's going on? Daddy, Gina has been taken away. And I think I wants to leave. Daddy, I'll run away and I'll never come back. Angel. Angel! What's going on? What's going on? My daughter just called me. She sounds distressed. She's troubled. She's telling me my, my, my son has been taken away and she's she's gonna leave the house. Nobody's in the house. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Well, maybe you should just call her back. I just called her and the number is switched off. I don't know what's going on. Wow. I need to go back to Lagos. I need to go back to my home. Look, uh, pack your things and leave, okay? I don't think I'll be coming back when I leave. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? I said pack your things and leave. My family needs me. All right, Rose? I will send somebody to lock up this place. Just pack your things and leave, please. What sort of joke is Rose, this? I am dead serious, okay? You can't just use me and dump me. What are you saying? Rose, you knew I was married when you decided to have this relationship with me. So what is the drama about? Drama? You got this drama telling you promise never to break my heart. So what are you saying? Well, I don't know what I was thinking when I made those promises to you. Do you understand? I got to go. You're not going anywhere, Dilly. You're not. You're not going anywhere. Rose, Rose, <gasps> do you want money? Tell me and I will give you what you want. All right? Honey. <laughs> you really think this is about money? If it was about money, do you think I would be this loyal homely? Tell me! Oh, well, thank you, Rose, for your sincere love to me. You were sincere. You loved me from the depth of your heart. I thank you. I appreciate you. Now, I have to go! You want to go back to your family? Then you don't know who you're messing with! Is that everybody you mess with like this, okay? I will touch you and love you! Never forget! Then you come back here!
can be. Not for, not for your mom. Uh, who they knock? Who they knock? No, no, not your mom. Your mom may not feel the knock by this time. What's going on? Where's my wife? Okay, I don't know. Why don't you know? Where's my wife? Okay, she don't tell me where she did come. Bring the suitcase. to help me talk to your friend. Emma. Yeah, I know you know we're very good friends and she likes my company. She likes being around me, but I think I want more. I want more. I, I want to be with her more. But she's not giving me listening ear. I don't know what to do, so I called you here to even talk to her, please. Thank you. <laughs> Frank, I understand how you feel. I'm glad you do. But the truth is that the Emma that I know will never give in to your proposal. Yes, in as much as she's having problems with her husband, she would never want to cheat on him. No. Yeah. I understand. You know, I... I thought since she's comfortable around me, she likes being around him, I thought... She kind of likes me more and all that, so... Yes, she likes you. But she's still married. They are just having issues now. They are not separated. So there's no way she would cheat on her man. No. Yeah, I understand. I'll just keep hoping that someday she, she'll change her mind. Because <laughs> I really like her a lot. I really, really like her. I don't think that will ever happen. <laughs> you think so? Never say never. I know her too well. She's my very good friend, my childhood friend. It's all good. It's fine. Oh, thank you for coming through for me. No, it's okay. It's I fine. appreciate it. You comfortable? Oh, I'm good. I'll have to be on my way now. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. All right. Please be safe. Okay. Thank you one more time. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Be good. All right. So, hi. Yeah. Yeah, I know, so. <laughs> what, what's going on now? Like, I'm kind of lost to what's happening here. Yeah, it's a long story, but I'll cut it out for you. I'm listening. So, I have a friend. I think I've not seen her for a while, and then I met her recently. So, we got talking. She likes my company, of course, and I want more. Yeah, I want to be closer to her. I just. I think I like her, I like her a lot, but she's not giving in. Do you think she likes you, like? Yeah. She likes being around me. She likes my company. <laughs> and her uh, eyes says it all. What is your friend saying? Well, her friend says um, she's not sure she'll accept me because she knows her too well and then of course she's still tied up with someone somewhere. Um, well, I think you just need to give her time. Just give her time. You think? Well, 
You said she likes your company, right? Yeah. If she likes your company, just give her time. Hopefully, hopefully she'll come around. Just give her time. See, <laughs> just okay. forget this drink. This just give me drink, I beg. Give me something. I'm talking about something serious. So oh, give me drink. I've been mean, I mean, sitting here listening to you talk about. You like drink. I'm there. You like drink. Yeah, give me drink. Just give me drink. What do you want drink? Usual, usual. Is that easy, man? Is that easy? Yeah, have you have you been able to talk to your friend? Huh? No. Is she not home yet? No. Who could she be? Okay, let me call some friends here. I'll get back to you. Okay, please do. I'm, I'm waiting for you. <sighs> Hello, brother. Uh, good evening. How are you? This one, you are only me in the middle of the night. I hope all is well. Brother, I am looking for my wife. Meaning? I mean, I came back uh, home today um, around 2 p.m. And since then, I have not laid my eyes on my wife. I've, I've called her. First, she wasn't picking her calls. Now, her phone is switched off. Maybe she knows you're back and doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, but I've called everyone who knows her and nobody seems to know where she is. Now, wait a minute. Did you check her at the hospital? She could be on a night I, shift. I called the hospital. They told me that she was she was working throughout the night. She left by uh, 12 noon. Okay, brother, I will try to be calm. The problem is I, I got back home to a half-baked story of my son, Junior, being at one uh, uh, juvenile home. Juvenile home? For what? I don't know. I mean, Tega wouldn't say a thing to me. She's not saying what's, what's actually going on. And uh, uh, um, Abby is upset. She's locked herself up in a room. I, she's not talking to me. Like, she, she's angry with me. Dele, Dele, have you seen what I was warning you about? Please try every means to reach Emanuela and get back to me. Once you find her. Okay, brother. Oh. And you're sleeping too. Sure. Oh, girl, she did not talk me anything. No, me, I, I did not know. Where are you coming from, Emanuela? Why do you care? I'm asking you, where are you coming from? I called the hospital. They told me you hey, have to hey, stop hey, him. Dele, hey. don't. Where are you coming from, just like this? Don't raise your voice at me. And why are you even here? Wait. Excuse me? Excuse you, my foot. You abandoned your family in Lagos for some stupid low-life prostitute in Abuja. And you're here asking me silly questions. Look. I'm asking you now. Where is my son? Wow. So you remember you have a son? You remember that you're a father? Wow. Look. Stop trying to guilt trap me. I came back home and I heard my son is at some juvenile center without my consent. Okay, uh, Dele, were you under the influence or something when you told me to face my motherhood challenges head on and not involve you? Look, Emmanuel, I'm sorry. I had pressure. Pressure at work. I had issues I was, de I was dealing with. Oh, really? Wow. I took your advice and I faced my challenges head on. That's why your son is not at home. Okay, um, is it that you don't see my messages? Messages? What messages are you talking about? So she has access to your phone and deletes my messages at will. Please, call her and tell her to tell you the content of the messages she deleted. Emanuela, please answer me! Where is my son? Please! I need to see my son! Your son is at plot 241 at Denima Street, Victoria Island. Stop bothering me, Dilly. Manuela, don't, don't, don't be like My that now. Don't bullshit. Huh? Don't 
Don't be like that now. I don't know how this weekend will be. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. <laughs> so you really don't care what? Yeah. So no, 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 not. Uh, please let me call you back, yeah? Okay. What? So you don't care what happened when I went to the juvenile center to, to, to check on our son? You don't care about that? What's wrong with you? No, what is wrong with you? You expected me to welcome you with open arms? Yeah? At least give me the chance to explain. Delay, I'm not interested. A lot has happened to me. I mean, ever since we've been out of communication, a lot of things have happened to oh. me. Oh, Dele, please, can you stop stressing me with your problems? Ah, ah! What is your pro- Are you not a man? Don't disturb me. Ah. Please. What is going on? What is going on? this don't you dare put your filthy hands on me don't uh, emma you're my wife I'm, 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 i've been apologizing to you for a while now won't you let me touch you can you please just leave me alone please Mom, stay away please from me don't do that now eh? touch you like what is it again please Dele, stay away from me how can Please. I how can I stay away from you when you my wife I still love you? I don't love you anymore. Don't say that. You disgust me. Don't say that. This one cannot sleep again in this room. I'll sleep in it because it's the bed. It's the room. Emma, Emma, Emma don't I... do this now. What you want, and I can't give it to you. I'm married. But you just replied to my message that you love me too. Look, you need to stop sending me these messages. Stop it, or I'll block you. Frank, I'm serious. Is this what brought you here? I mean, you came all the way here by this time just to tell me this. Stop sending me these messages, Frank. Did I stop it? I don't know what is wrong with you. I think I need to get to a therapist. Because one minute you need me, the next minute you don't. Is this that body has chopped into your brain? Nothing <laughs> is wrong with my brain. If you don't stay away from me, Frank. This is... This is get it. Come on, what are you doing? My wife, you, you, you chose to mess with. What is wrong with you? You left her and I love you. You know what? You know what? Dele, Dele. You are crazy? No, 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 no. Huh? Dele, there's nothing going on between him and I. No, 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 no. There is nothing at all going on between us. What? Come here. Let's go. Let's go home. Take, take it easy now. Let's go. Dele, I am Let's not go. going anywhere with you in this behavior. No, 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 no. Go home. Let's go. How are you even here? Go home. Let's go home. No, I'm not spending the night. Let's go home. Let's go. 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 let us go you should have allowed me to be the bad guy. You should have allowed me to make all the mistakes. You should have allowed me to do all the wrongs. Why, why, why did you have to do that? You're a good woman. You're a good person. Why did you have to do that? Huh? I 
agree, it's my fault. I take all the blame, right? But you're too good for that now. Huh? You're too, you're too good for that, Emmanuel. Like, you, you shouldn't have, yeah? How do you expect me to live the rest of my life with the, 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 the image of you, my wife, in the arms of another man? Nothing happened. There's nothing between Frank and I. If I hadn't gotten there on time, you would have allowed him to have his way. No, I wouldn't have. Because I have morals. I have respect for my marriage. Oh, so why were you there? Why do you always run to him? Because Frank helped me through a bad situation. A bad situation you put me in. All right. So you're trying to pay him back in kind. Huh? A coin of your, your kisses, your body, allowing him to, 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 to hold you like that. Oh, so the cleaner you were with in Abuja, what did you pay her with? What coin did you pay her with, Dele? <sighs> Manuela, you're not getting me that. Okay, you know what? Sorry. I take all the fault. I take all the blame. Sorry for everything. Look, I want to make it right. Manuela, you are my wife. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I haven't been around, okay? But now I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm back for you and the children. I'm back. I, I, I want to say I want to be here for you. I, I hate the fact that I had to see you like that. And... <sighs> Baby, please. Forgive me for every single thing I've done. Let's let's fix this. Let's, let's, let's fix our home. Let's fix our marriage. Just, let's come back together, please. Abby, you get one feel whether they show by this time. Put it now. I swear you go like her. We may have shared whether not this idea. Woo! Che, che, wait, 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 bless her, don't pass her. What did they write for that one? So, Daddy and Mommy are no longer fighting. Good night. Okay, good evening. Yes, um, Daddy and Mommy. We are no longer fighting, and uh, I promise you that I'm not going to make mommy cry anymore, okay? This will never happen again, all right? We are still not friends yet. Uh, Abby, come on. Okay, I also promise you that your brother will be home this week. I'll bring him home. Daddy, please, don't promise anymore. You made promises you didn't fulfill when we were going to Abuja. Oh, no, 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 baby girl. Daddy will keep his promises this time around, right? Okay. Darling. Okay, Abby. Come here. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks. <laughs> See you, brother. Well yeah. Junior. Oh. <laughs> Hello, brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. That's okay. It means a lot to me. Thank you. You know, I, I told you when Come you were uh, getting worried, I told you that um, that juvenile uh, home belongs to a French son. So it didn't actually take me anything to bring back our son home. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Come here, my man. Come here. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I won't disgrace you ever again. Do you mean it? Yes, ma'am. Then I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. Okay. No. That's my fault. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Uh, yes. That's good. Uh, Daddy, don't make us sad anymore. No, I won't. Honey, I promise you, I will never, never, ever make you, your mom, your brother, sad anymore. Okay? Can yeah, I come and tell my about the juvenile room? No, no, no. Don't tell her about that place. <laughs> you hear me? Watch what you tell your sister. Ah, these children. <laughs> you Thank know, you. Children. Mm? You know something, Deli? This our daughter, Abigail, reminds me very much of our mother. <laughs> She's so intelligent and very inquisitive, <laughs> very intuitive. Oh, my God. Well, brother, she is the complete copy of our mother. And uh, to be honest, nobody scolds me like Abigail does. Not even my wife. Yes. Hmm? Yeah, well, now that the, uh, the children have left us, uh, Dele, I would like to know what are your plans for your family? Well, brother, like, 
since I got back, I'm being very honest with you, since I got back and I saw the state of my family, what my actions did to my family, I've been devastated. And uh, all I want to do right now is to be home, fight for my family, bring my family back together so that we can enjoy the bond, the love, and everything we shared in the past. That's it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I am so happy. I'm so glad that you have taken responsibility. Yes. I mean, there is nothing any one of us can do without our family. Family is key. Yes. Family is everything. Yeah. Yeah, my darling. Good. Yeah, in front of my brother, I just want to say, like, I'm sorry once more. I'm sorry I ever made you cry. I'm sorry I ever made you sad. That's so beneath me. And I promise I'm going to love you uh, and make you smile the rest of our life. I forgive you, baby. Oh, thank and you. I love you too. I have to leave. Uh -huh. I think at this point, I have to leave you love birds to enjoy yourself. I don't want to see anything. <laughs> okay, brother. <laughs> All right, let's talk later. Okay, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you so much. Okay, brother. Thank you so much for taking me to the juvenile home. You're um, welcome, my son. Junior? Yes, Dad. Why are you always thanking your mom for the whole juvenile home thing? Well, it's because I got to understand that I would have probably been a menace to society if I had grown up with the bad habits I was practicing. Wow. Mm. This is a great testimony, right? <laughs> huh, darling? It's a great testimony. <laughs> yes. In the oh, juvenile home, Along with some other things, I got engaged in a CBT. What's a CBT? It's a problem focused therapeutic approach that helps you to identify your dysfunctional beliefs. Wow. So, did you, did you uh, identify your problem? Yes. You can share with us the problem. Well, you were. That's it. What? Parents that show positive values and norms, a good standard of what life a child is meant to live. That way, the child will be able to go out into the society and show a good behavior. Junior. Dad, I love you. You are my mentor. But you weren't there when I needed you the most. I had no one else to speak to. That's why I started seeing life in the lights that almost destroyed me. Junior. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I let you down. I'm so sorry I let this this family down. I wasn't there for you. I wasn't there for you to talk to me. Look, I promise you that I'm here now. I'm going nowhere. Whenever you need to talk to me about anything, come to me. Come to your father. Yes, and Dad. talk to me. Yes, Dad. All right? Oh, my boy. Um, Honey. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for holding this family down. When I wasn't around, when I, I wasn't the best father, the best husband to you. Thank you. Without you, this family would have been nothing. You're welcome, baby. Yes, Dad. Mommy made the right decisions in your absence. <laughs> She's my superwoman. Oh. Yeah, she so is a superwoman. Super woman. <laughs> Our superwoman. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. I'm a super woman. Thank you. And on this note, as we are, uh, you know, at least congratulating mom for making the best decisions, I want to share something with you. I um, I have been named the managing director of my my company. Oh, wow! wow. <laughs> That's nice, Dad. Yeah. 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 I was keeping the good news for this moment, and what better moment uh, to oh uh, celebrate and share this? That's nice, Dad. Yes, I'm Congrats. so happy. Yeah, thank you all. 
thank you all because ah oh, uh, without you oh baby well thank done god, thank god and uh, this calls for a celebration yes. for me you promised to make us some special food um, uh, are you still gonna make the food mm -mm. there's what? this new restaurant that i'm dying to try oh so we should go there yes go who's in who's in go out for dinner yeah okay. so we're going out for dinner yeah yeah you go, celebration time <laughs> Smile, cause that is coming 